Hi right, guys, it's Jason K. Williamson here, and we're gonna be talking about living in the moment. This is episode five of Hustle Mode. Let's go. I was here over the weekend, and I was with a friend and a couple of girls, and it was around two o'clock in the morning, so we came down here, pretty much. Uh, we walked along, and we had the Sydney Opera House, and we had the Harbour Bridge, so we were just kind of like sitting there. And they were so focused on what had just happened, and they were so focused on what's about to happen, and that they missed exactly what's happening right now. And I even said to them, I was like, guys, look, you know, look around you, relish in the moment, because right now is right now. What's just happened, has happened, it's history, you know what I mean? Like it's memories, it's histories, it's lessons, whatever you want it to be, whatever the moment was. But that's that, that's gone. Whatever's about to happen is something you're making up in your mind and you actually have no idea what's about to happen. So it's just, you're just living in a fantasy, there's nothing about to happen. What's happening right now is right now, it's real, it's relevant, it is right now, it is in the moment. And you guys are so, busy looking backwards and looking forwards that you're missing what is right now and right now was the most phenomenal view and I'm going to show you guys very shortly um, what that view was uh, I had to come away because the Sydney Opera House won't let me film within 50, uh, 50 meters of it so welcome to Sydney um, but apparently I'm allowed to get a shot from here if it's non-promotional and I don't make money from it thank you Sydney Basically, what I want from you guys, everybody who watches this, is from now on, whenever you get a moment in your life that is exceptional, that you want to remember, I want you to be in that moment. Be right there, be present, because if you're too busy looking backwards and looking forwards, you're going to miss what is right now. And what is right now could be a moment that you could never get back in your entire life. He was visiting from Adelaide, like, who knows if he's going to visit again. So maybe, like, that moment that he could have relished and he could really, really took in and just really been present in could be a moment that he could remember for the rest of his life. And it was, it was a beautiful moment, you know what I mean? Like, it's a beautiful view. I'm gonna show you guys in two seconds. I just think it's incredible the amount of people that go around that miss what is happening right now. Like, I'm paying attention to this. Even just this, this is not much, but it's incredible, you know what I mean? It's, it's so much more than a lot of people have in their life right now. So I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the fact that there's not a lot of people that have this in their life and then I've been present in the moment because I know that this is a moment that, like I say, not many people get to share. I just hope that you guys become more in the moment and you start to really, really, really pay attention to what's happening and relish in the moment. So all right guys, so just be in the moment, be present and just love what is happening. Don't let that slip you by. I really think the key to happiness is to live in the moment and continue to be grateful. So to push forward, to push forward, to always push forwards, but to be grateful as well. Be grateful, be in the moment, but always grow. I honestly think that's one of the keys to happiness is just genuinely just being in the moment. I cannot say that enough and I know you guys are just gonna be like oh for fuck's sake Jess shut up you're saying the same thing over and over again but I cannot stress it enough it is so important it's so important and there's so many people that don't do it it's unfortunate do you guys want to take a walk with me I'm just gonna do this I'm just gonna go on the fly B still video this I don't care if the crowd sees this shit let's see if we can get this in there how fucking amazing is this though I love this. I've got the opera house in the background. Can you see that? Opera house, please don't find me for this. The wankers. I mean, look, even even just that, like that, that in slow motion, just no, no. Like even, even the city in the background, like how cool is that? What's going on, dude? So, I'm gonna put this back down now. And let's flip the camera view. We're just fucking all out and ball out. I don't even know what that means. Hey, what's up, yo? Um, I don't know. Another thing as well I want to talk about, actually real, real quick, 
is have fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? Have fun with your life. Um, I'm gonna tell you a quick story actually. Um, so about about five years ago, I was meant to leave to Brisbane. I was an electrician. Actually, no, I was an electrician. I was a painter, but I was trying to become an electrician. So I was gonna go to Brisbane with my dad. And we were gonna move up there, we were gonna get some work, and then we we're gonna move the family up. So I was about to go away, so what we did was we went and I went and had like a little going away party, you know, as you do. Like I had about 15, 20 friends out, and we all went out that night. Um, and I'd had a few drinks, you know, had a couple of drinks, was having a bit of fun. Uh, we was walking to another nightclub, and as I looked across the road, we saw some girl that was unconscious in the middle of the road. Um, so we went over to go help her, I jumped a fence, and I got my jeans caught on the fence, and as I've fallen down, I've caught myself, but looked up, and just got boom. This is about 1am, 12.30, 1am in the morning. And uh, yeah, I got hit in the face by a car, thrown back into a fence, and everyone thought I died. So, I mean, why am I telling you that? Because life's fragile. You know what I mean? Like, I was going out for a night to have fun, to have a bit of fun to say goodbye to friends. Uh, Side note, ironically the club I was going to was called Heaven. This is, by the way guys, if you're watching this, it's like 5 a.m. in the morning. So I was just having fun. So, back to my skits. Uh, like, the reason I told you that is because it's so, I mean like living in the moment is part of that happiness. Um, but just have fun with your life because you can take it as serious as you want, but at the end of the day, it's a little bit sad. <laughs> at the end of the day, we're all gonna end up six feet under. Do you know what I mean? Like, we're all gonna end up six feet under, no matter who you are. If you're Donald Trump, you're still gonna end up six feet under. Maybe you'll end up in a nice little grave. But, I mean, you're dead. So it doesn't matter. So it's the moments that you capture in life that are gonna live on forever. It's gonna live on in your memory, it's gonna live on in the person's memory that you lived it with. It's gonna live on in everybody's memory that you share the stories with. So be present in the moment, but also have fun with your life because it is, life is so fragile. It can be taken away at any split moment. Um, and that's why I am, as I am as an entrepreneur, I do what I do for freedom. I do it so I can come down at five o'clock in the morning and film a video for you guys and just tell you whatever I want to tell you. I like, I've had a fair bit of experience in, in shit like that for my age. Um, and I know that it sounds crazy coming from, from me to tell you those things, um, to be talking about you know being in the moment and, and relishing in it and just being happy. Because a lot of the time, entrepreneurs are telling you that you have to do things that you don't want to do and you gotta do this blah 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 and you gotta hustle and you gotta hustle 20 hours a day and of course you do. There's some people that have to do that. Um, but some of you are just doing that just so you can be like Gary Vee, or like you can be Grant, Car like Grant Cardone. Do you know why I know? Because I was that guy. I used to, I think I ruined one of my relationships as well doing that, I won't lie. Um, I used to want to be so much like Gary Vee that I created work for myself that wasn't actually work. I was just being busy so that I could say I hustled 20 hours today. And I ended up being miserable with what I was doing because I was creating work that I didn't really need but I was also I wasn't living to my purpose and my purpose is to help serve people like you you know like help you break out of that zone I mean okay so I'm, I'm not making the money that Gary Vee does and maybe that's why because I don't hustle like him but you've got to understand that and this is this is another tangent so we, what have we covered like being in the moment we've covered like just being happy and how fragile life can be and I guess this is the third one and I want to talk about like what type of entrepreneur are you? In the moment we've covered like just being happy and how fragile life can be.